And we are back with another episode of the most quotable films of all time. And uh, this one actually was a kind of a close race for the letter F between this and A Few Good Men. But Fargo won out. And um, yeah, very quotable all the way through. So Yeah, we were trying to get Fargo for the last, the other two times. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one, man. So uh, yeah. you want to start us off with your number five? My number five. Uh, this was uh, Mike Yanagita okay. talking to Marge when they had their little meeting and stuff. Yeah. And uh, she was sensing that he was trying to hit on him and stuff. Mm. And then finally he started crying and he goes, You were such a super lady. And then <laughs> I did so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, such a super lady. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I like that scene. A lot of people like complain about that scene like being unnecessary, but at the same time, that's the scene that sets off the light bulb in her head that like, uh, you know, Jerry is not forthcoming. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's so good. I love that guy. Uh, all right, so my number five is uh, it's when Carl is on the phone with Jerry. Uh, Carl being Steve Buscemi's character, and he says, Is it Jerry? You ask those three poor souls up in Brainerd if a deal's a deal. Go ahead, ask them. The heck do you mean? The heck do you mean? I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, just, just the way he says, the heck do you I, mean is so great. Uh, not on your list? Uh, no. All right, what's your I think it was going to be probably a lot of them, because there was a lot of good quotes in that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so my number four is uh, Mart keeps handing uh, Jerry to uh, give him the documentation on the car and stuff. You yeah. Know, maybe the car is in the line, you know, whatever. Yes. And then, and then he just finally blows it up and he goes, Yeah, right now. You're darn tootin'. I have, uh, I have that a little higher... But I think I have more of that quote. Um, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I have more of it. Okay. So, yep. So, uh, all right. So my number four is, uh, and you might have this one as well, because I know we've discussed this a few times. It's the scene where uh, Marge's husband, Norm, uh, it's early in the morning and he says, I'll fix you some eggs. That's okay, hon. I gotta run. You gotta eat a breakfast, Marge. I'll fix you some eggs. Well, hon, you can sleep. You gotta eat a breakfast. <laughs> I'll fix you some eggs. Ah, Norm. Right, then she goes out and the truck won't start. Right. And she comes back in, then she winds up out of the end. Yeah, exactly. So was that on your list or no? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I, so what's your three? Uh, my three is way to Jerry, the father-in-law. And he okay. goes... I'm not talking about your damn word, Jerry. Jeez, what the heck are you... We're not a bank, Jerry. That's a great one. That was one of my honorable mentions, yeah. yeah. Um, we may have, like, none in common. Well, we do have Darn Tootin, I guess. Yeah, but, we have Darn Tootin. We, we can go with that one. But yeah, that, that whole scene was great with the two of them saying, we're not a bank. Yeah, yeah right. He figured that they were just going to give him the money. <laughs> Right. I mean, they like invested them, but they wanted the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, all right. So, my number three, <clears throat> I had to get one in that has as many ya yeah things as possible. <laughs> so, it's with uh, Marge talking to um, the two hookers, and the <laughs> hooker number one says, Yeah. Hey, they said they were going to the Twin Cities. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I just love it. Uh, not on your list, huh? No, but it it's my number two is like in the same vicinity, vicinity type. Okay, thing. yeah. Every time somebody asks for a description of the two bad guys, mm -hmm. they would go, Oh, he's a little guy, kind of funny looking. Uh-huh. In what way? Oh, just in a general kind of way. Exactly. Right. Yeah, the prostitutes did it. Uh, right. Everybody said, oh, it's funny looking. Yeah, the guy outside with the shovel, uh, yeah. he right. was good. Yeah. So any one of those is your number two, is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. But they all fit the same thing. Yeah. But and Steve Buscemi fits that role perfectly. Uh so yeah, my number two is the uh when Jerry blows up. So I have the whole thing where it starts with him saying, Well, heck, if you wanna if you wanna play games here, I'm working with you on this thing here, but okay. I'll do a damn luck count. Sir, right now? Yeah, right now. You're darn tootin'. So damn important to you. What? I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, what the Christ. <laughs> uh, then he comes out and runs away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So awesome. All right, so what's your number one? It would say multiple times. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. So instead of oh, yeah, you went with oh, geez. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can deal with that. Well, my number one is one that just kind of sums up the movie. I think it's the very last line in the movie when uh, Marge is driving the uh, guy in the, the cop car and she says, yeah. So that was Mrs. Lundegaard on the floor in there. I guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper. And there's three people in Brainerd. And for what? For a little bit of money. There's more to life than a little money, you know. Don't you know that? And here you are. And it's a beautiful day. That was good. That was an honorable match. Okay. Well, very good. Well, uh, man, this is going to be a tough I'm one. I'm the one who usually puts the last line in the movie. I know. I thought that you would have done the same thing. Um, all right. So we can have we can have OGs at one and, <laughs> and then the long one, uh, the last line at two. Then let's see. He was a little guy. Well, well, that, well, no, no, we got to do Jerry's freak out because we yeah. have that in common. Right. At three. Then we'll put he was a little guy at four. And then it's between. Um. Oh, man, we got to have the hookers on there. That's got to be five. <laughs> yeah. So we, so we got, oh, yeah, at the beginning and oh, geez, at the end. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, very nice. Well, any other honorable mentions? Uh, I mean, oh, yeah, I said so many times. Yeah, I know. It's just know. Uh, picking your favorite, basically. But, uh, like, actually, one of my favorite oh, yeah's is a very subtle one. 
when Marge comes to bed late and Norm looks like he's like passed out already and he's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, the Chinese guy that was hitting on him would say, oh yeah. Oh so, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, and her, uh, the other cop, who just like doesn't even do anything and Marge is down on the scene like looking at the bodies and he's just drinking his coffee and like oh yeah what what's what it look like over there uh and, uh, and then she did that joke before she threw up right yeah you know, the one about the guy who couldn't afford personalized plates yeah so he went and changed his name to JL3 <laughs> Dash yeah. 2404. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the guy's like, oh, yeah, the Margie, that's a good one. Yeah, that's great. All right. Well, these are now the official top five quotes of Fargo, according to the three and four right now. Yeah. Hey, they said they were going to the Twin Cities. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a little guy, kind of funny looking. Uh huh. In what way? Oh, just in a general kind of way. Well, heck, if you wanna, if you wanna play games here, I'm working with you on this thing here. But okay, I'll do a damn luck count, sir. Right now? Yeah, right now. You're darn tootin'. So damn important to you. What? I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, what the Christ. I guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper. Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. And now we got to go with the letter G. So my four are uh, The Graduate, Good Morning Vietnam, Goodwill Hunting, and Gran Torino. What do you have? I couldn't remember what we did before. Yeah. So your list is probably totally different again. Uh, <laughs> oh we did uh the last two we did were godfather and goodfellas the two crime uh, dramas the two, the two gangster g's yes okay goonies okay brown hot day good game, one game night and ghostbusters game night yeah <laughs> nice Oh, yeah, and Ghostbusters. Man, there's so many good Gs. I know, oh, I got a whole list of them. How did I not have Groundhog Day on my list? That's crazy. <laughs> well, it'll make this list. So we got <laughs> Graduate, Goonies, Groundhog Day, and Good Morning Vietnam. That's pretty good. Again, any one of these could win. It might be another close call here. But those are your options. The Graduate, The Goonies, Groundhog Day, and Good Morning Vietnam. So vote in the comments below or on Johnny Radio's poll, and we'll do that one next. So uh, good times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Love you, too. All right, bye.